Well, we're now in the thick of early voting across Central Florida with just about a week until Election Day. For those of you who have never voted before, it can be a bit overwhelming. So that's where ClickOrlando.com's Brianna Voles comes in. She has everything you need to know to make it easy. There's a lot to remember, so let's get started. You already have to be registered by now, so you'll want to check up on where your polling place is because you can't just show up to anywhere you want. That'd be nice if you could, but you can't. Once you're there, you'll show your ID, and then you'll grab your ballot, head to one of the privacy booths, and fill out your ballot. You can check those sample ballots out ahead of time at clickorlando.com, so you can do some research on your choices. I know I did that when filling out mine. Then you'll see signs or a second line where you can submit your ballot. Be warned, though, it's possible you could be approached by candidates or candidate supporters at your polling place trying to sway your vote at the last second. That happens. It's just best to be informed ahead of time so you know what you want to do. And for the least wait time, you want to go in mid-morning or mid-afternoon while people are at work, but not the lunch hour. It gets busy. If you make a mistake or have any questions, you can always ask a poll worker. They are there to help you. And one more thing. State law says you can't take photos in a polling place or of your ballot, and that means no selfies with your ballot. They're looking out for that and your vote may not count then. Wait until you're outside and away from the polls to take a photo with your I Voted sticker. And for a complete election guide, you can find everything you need to know now on clickorlando.com. Julie, I know you got your I Voted sticker mm -hmm. yesterday, so that's good. You got that out of the way, Candace. I know. Sticker. I have to do that this week. Yeah, early voting, I think 